Hello, my name is Aeridus Kirstukas. In this video I will show you how to embed YouTube galleries or the latest uploaded videos in your footer area or on the pages. If you think this kind of information gonna be helpful to you, please stick with me for the rest of the video. We're gonna need to go to the dashboard. We're gonna use a plugin YouTube Lite for this kind of tutorial. Just go in there and then add new plugin. And you just should type YouTube. And this first one is you see Embed Plus for YouTube Gallery Channel Playlist. It have over 200 active installations. So I just gonna install now. After installation done, you just press activate. And as you can see, YouTube a free option on your dashboard paired. So press on that one and then you end up in the YouTube settings. First, you have a defaults, all those kind of an options. You can read them, but I experimented with quite few of them and it doesn't really make any big impact on the gallery display. So I suggest just leave it as it is. And if it's some future you're gonna require, just go through, read it and if you like it then you can enable or disable because that is simple you just like read it you like it okay i'm gonna use it and you enable if i don't want that option i disable next one this is the ip key you're gonna need to get from the your google i will show you how to do in a, in a other tutorial you should see the information on the screen or you will be able to find in the video description so follow there and then i gonna explain how to get that number for you next one wizard Wizard is that basically it's just explaining how you can embed that kind of the gallery and which way is available. So as you can see, you can do it like in an editor, you can have through the widget area or you can have from the Gutenberg block area. And then you go into the gallery and I want to show you this option mostly today because that's why I'm using for the gallery. So you can pick the gallery page size. You can pick four and four, let's say, let's do this kind of thing. And then stack thumbnails for mobile. Yeah, it's probably a good idea this one or you can leave it and we would stack it on under each other instead of showing that kind of small squares where people wouldn't able to see properly. Probably. Then show pagination, that's kind of the next preview. Customs, you can put custom text if you don't like. Next previous words, you can whatever do differently one. And then show subscribe button. If you want, you can show your subscribe to my channel button. If you don't want, you don't need to enable this one. Like you can see at the moment here subscribe to my channel you can rename and you can type whatever you like on that and then scroll of set all those kind of settings you can play it it doesn't really making big impact to be fair then you have as well pro version but i'm gonna show you now just free one compatibility you can read it through all those it's not really 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 actually making big difference this one only embed like you can do that manually and kind of nice settings in here you can read it how to adjust if you want a different width or or high then you can just set different numbers out of play and all other options how to control how that player will interact on your website so not talking a lot if i gonna go to default at the moment if i scrolling down and then you can see in youtube you just press youtube and then you have an option basically embed single video embed playlist embed channel embed live stream or premiere let's do insert at the moment channel i press there and then you need to go to youtube and paste the link here from your channel so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our youtube i just gonna type my name and then i'm gonna press on any video it doesn't matter which video you pick because anyway you, i wanna to show my all channel updates so i go in here and i then go in paste and get channel and then you can see you have a two option insert as playlist or insert of as the gallery you can pick any of them let's say i want to do insert as a gallery you press that and then you have a basically code here which one you need to copy i copied this code just gonna make sure i'm not gonna lost i'm gonna paste it somewhere so we've done it we just press save it okay and now we're going on our visit site okay so we are now at our page let's say 
I scrolling down and I wanted to display this information on our footer widget like here or here. It doesn't matter which area you're going to pick. So how to do it? You're going to go and you're going to go to the customize. If you if you use different team, it's going to be a bit differently. But I'm going to show as well how to do an Elementor. It's simple. It's just down to the down to the team usually you would have to go to the footer and then actually let's say footer i want a widget one i want to display my be here and then i press on a setting on that cogwheel and i have to add the widget i go in can i have to pick customs html i put it at html you can write whatever title you like I'm gonna call latest tutorials and then I'm gonna paste that code. I pasted the code and I press publish and I scrolling up down and you can see it's nicely it's nicely basically showing my latest tutorial. You can press next, you can okay. We just going publish, we just going from this team. We on our page and we're scrolling down and is yeah you can see it's displaying how to display in different position and adjust that different story but you have an idea and let's say you have for those kind of videos it doesn't look very nice so if you want to go to the back to your dashboard you're going to the youtube free and then going to the galleries now we need to 16 to show that's why not showing 16 and columns four yep save it okay it's going to our page which is going to refresh and you can see now it's showing all four so as you can see you can display how many videos you like i let's see one or two might be stick with the two and two you can play with the settings and you can two rows and two videos save changes if you do after changes okay and then going here and update yep and then it's only showing two videos but then you have to pagination like next we can people go through and then subscribe to the channel button as i mentioned you can see and you can adjust in the gallery you can enable or disable and then we're just going to the pages add new and let's say any page i'm gonna call youtube and then you're going plus the sign and you're going on that kind of the widget you tab wizard and then open wizard you press and then you can embed let's say we want to embed a playlist you press embed a playlist and then you can read it kind of the information what you want but basically you need to go find your playlist on the youtube channel and insert here so what we're gonna do i'm gonna go i'm gonna go on to my channel i'm gonna look for the playlist let's say i want to insert this playlist you just press on there you see that kind of video playlist so i'm just gonna go copy the web address i will go back to the widget paste and gonna press get playlist and then as well you have a playlist insert playlist as playlist or as a gallery is if you would insert as a playlist gonna be just one video so i'm gonna go and insert as a gallery i insert it you can see it's still showing same settings like we adjusted before two video and two video and we're gonna press publish publish and view the page and you can see that's kind of the page it's basically video i'm gonna show you how to insert in there basically on of your footer so what you should do if i'm gonna highlight element you can see the shortcut already embedded you're generating the code actually from here and then you're going on to your element footer widget you picking the the short code you dragging here and then you paste paste pasting that information it's only what i added with 500 and high 250 basically that's the size of the element and if i gonna apply let's say preview changes anyway it's everything fine but what i want to show i want to show one more thing for you let's say you yeah, have to go out of the Elementor, I'm gonna exit to the dashboard, visit site, I'm going to the customizer, 
and I go into the additional CSC and what I done it I enter this kind of information what is doing this one if I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna publish now if we're gonna refresh you can see you can't see the font have very dark font so that's the way how you can change that font is only through the CSC so you have to basically go to the your additional CSC and you have paste this kind of code that's where it's like color you can change whatever color you want publish if you would go to the back to the page and after refresh the page the font color would change thank you for watching this and i would like to hear what you think about the content just drop the comment below don't forget to smash like button subscribe and put a ring on the notification bell thank you and bye bye to the next time